Hey everyone. So, this isn't what I usually do for my writings, but I thought I'd twitch it up a little bit. It's been a long week, long month, long year. I thought it'd be an act of self care to kind of do a creative type endeavor. Uh, and I really wanted to do it in video format because I have a lot of comments on the thing that I'm about to to write and I don't know if that would just come off well if I just do a bunch of inline comments or anything like that so you get here with me my face we get to we're gonna talk about some old erotica that I writ I wrote uh, this is honestly probably 10 years old <laughs> <clears throat> little backstory on me I lost my virginity at 16 um, and this was definitely before this <laughs> <coughs> so sorry I'm still sick <laughs> so kind of what I did here and I took this old story, it wasn't even on my computer anymore, I had to actually look for it on the internet. Um, I, I would suggest trying to find it. <laughs> but I took the old story, I marked it up with a ton of comments in Google Docs, my, my, my word processor of choice. <laughs> um, And I'm gonna read that off for you. I'm gonna do a dramatic reading, probably not too dramatic. I, and then I have a little, I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna tell you kind of what I changed and what I was kind of thinking of changing before even writing the rewrite. And I'm gonna read you the rewrite. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So we're, we're starting off here with the original and <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm reading it in my head before I'm reading it out loud. Let's... <laughs> okay. As I lay in my bed, I flip contact to contact on my smartphone. Okay, I already have to stop you there. Um, like I said, this was about 10 years ago. Um, maybe more. <laughs> and smartphones were very, very new. <laughs> So I probably thought it would be like the shit if I owned one and not like a regular thing. Not the thing I'm recording on right now. Not the thing that I always have in my pocket or that I'm glued to 24-7. <laughs> and like the sentence continues, uh, Dwarfish, which again I have to stop myself. I'm pretty sure I meant Fantasy Dwarf. <clears throat> I was very obsessed with things like Lord of the Rings and Dragon Age and and I still kind of am. Uh, I was literally just playing Dragon Age Inquisition last night, uh, doing the DLC, so I can prepare for the fourth game. Uh, I heard that it's required reading. <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty sure I meant Fantasy Dwarf. However, <laughs> I could have just described them. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't have been that hard, and it wouldn't have been, like, a possibly insensitive thing to say in a different context, uh, or a definitely insensitive thing in a different context, really. Um, I could have just said, he's stocky, he has a full beard, a big beard, uh, he's fat, he's muscular, he's big, but also short. <laughs> I could have said any of those things. Um, <laughs> muscle bear named Jensen. However, I do describe him as a muscle bear, so I don't even know why he's a short muscle bear. I could have just said he's a short muscle bear. <laughs> <clears throat> named Jensen, who I met at a bear run a few days prior. I'm actually interested that I knew what a bear run was. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> I've been on the internet for a long time. <laughs> He gave me his number if I wanted to play with him again, and I oh wait no I didn't even say aunt. Also I didn't even space out between this period. One second. I opened the chat option. Ooh I even gave us little little uh, screen names if I remember. 
I actually put this on top of the video so they can see the green names. I'm probably just gonna say them once. <laughs> so I got T Man Max here, and I have Little J. So I say, My bed and my deck are lonely. He says, Was well, that a typo, or do you want me to beat you with magic? Then I, then I reply, I do want you to beat me. <laughs> and then he replies, I'll beat you off, I hope. I'm not much of a dom. Are you, sir? And again, I have to stop here because, like, it says before that we met at a bear run a few days prior, and assumedly, and I imply that we had played at least once, <clears throat> and that he wanted to play again. And maybe I admit that in just, like, a purely sexual conduct, and not necessarily, like, a, uh, a king context or a <coughs> anything playing with DS. <coughs> but I'm I am i am unsure how I would know not know of his proclivities if we played one to more times. Or even like talked, because I would probably have like asked in like conversation or talked about it in general. <clears throat> I say, like, especially at like a bear run, assuming that I went to something like TBRU or like Bears Biker to Mayhem or something like that, where <coughs> there there's definitely intersections oh. of lever. But let's ignore all that, right? Um. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sure that ten years, ten years ago, I wasn't necessarily thinking of all that stuff. Maybe, who knows? Uh, so then I say, "Damn right, boy." Which also, <laughs> I gotta stop again. <laughs> Probably, sh I don't know why. Like, I get. Again, <clears throat> especially if he knows that I prefer sir, if, if we're going off the assumption that he knows to call me sir and I know to call him boy, then like why wouldn't I know that he's not a dom? Like maybe he's a switch, maybe that never came up in conversation, but like... <coughs> <coughs> but it's ever that, or it's... we just didn't negotiate the terms to call each other, which... Not great. <laughs> I mean, I certainly... Not necessarily that... I don't know if I liked the, the word daddy back then. I probably didn't just float towards sir. But, like... <clears throat> that word carries a little bit of weight. Uh, at least I didn't say master, I guess. Anywho... <laughs> So we continues, <clears throat> sir, I'm at the store, will we need anything? Dindle dance and some after sex cookies, I reply. And again, <laughs> again, I have to stop. I have never used a dindle dam in my life. I, I appreciate the sentiment that I thought that as an adult, I would have always the safest, like, <clears throat> Not touching, <laughs> barriers up, 100% sex, and I think at the time, too, I probably read a lot of, um, I think I was reading a lot of fan fiction critiques, <laughs> so a lot of them would say things where it'd be like, if they're two gay men, and then no risk of getting pregnant, um, then if they don't wear protection to like suck each other off, like why would they wear protection to like <coughs> um why would they wear protection for penetrative sex? Uh which A fair, 
B, that's like literally never how it happens and you have gay sex, but like <coughs> I'm sure someone's out here sucking all the dicks and condoms and dental dams and shit, but that ain't me. So then he says, Am I to suck your cock, sir? I reply, I was gonna rim you, but I could go for a bit of a suck. I'll have you on my knees in front of a big in front of my big window, so everyone can see how much you love it. And I think I was gonna live in like a <coughs> It's kind of interesting, but I actually kind of, I, I wrote more so towards having a house and, and the rewrite, and I didn't even kind of realize it until after I was done uh, and giving it a little, little, little once over, because it, it is very much a first draft. I wrote it in one week. Uh, it's, uh, it's nowhere near final. I see in here in my, my original, I kind of written to like I'm in a penthouse. I wonder how that says about me. Uh, that's not too important to the story. It's just kind of an interesting thing about me, I guess. Sir, you realize I'm in public, Jensen says. <laughs> I close my eyes and imagine Jensen in the store, rubbing his beard to distract himself from his growing erection, looking around, tr trying t to stop thinking about taking my hard cut all night long. <laughs> <coughs> Everyone's eyes on him, looking at my stocky little man. See, I call him stocky here. Why couldn't I call him stocky before? Anywho, uh, I uh, I meant to make a little correction because I did not know how to conjugate. I guess English is weird. I sent back <clears throat> perfect, along with an attachment picture of me entangled in the sheets of my bed, my cock jutting out proudly. I. I grin, awaiting his response. I grinned? You, I think you meant I grinned. I, or maybe... I don't know. <coughs> <coughs> I grinned, comma. No way his response. <coughs> now we go back to the chat dialogue. Jensen says, Sir, the line is long. You must stop teasing me. I reply, It's winter, is it not? Use your jacket, boy. He says, Yes, sir. I nodded, grinning and evilly. <coughs> I love how easily he slipped into into, into into this role, which is fair, I feel. This line is fair. That's fair, I suppose, uh, considering, I, mean, I don't know. I just feel like this is a conversation that I would have with someone that I had not more rapport with, and not someone I know for a total of a week, but that's just me. Good boy, I say. And then ten minutes and ten more pictures pass, each one different from the other. So, I'm just gonna tell you, as a <laughs> as a professional deep <laughs> taker, uh, <laughs> can't say that with a straight face. Nope. Um, it takes so much longer for me to take nudes, um, <clears throat> and then a minute per nude. Uh, Especially if I want like good lighting or weird angles or like different angles, especially like ten different ones from the other like if I'm just doing something simple like <clears throat> Ooh. and then like Ooh. then like fine. I, that's that's not necessarily like I don't want to reset the shot completely for that. Um <clears throat> It's gonna have to know that where the where where is in frame relatively, and then kind of use my little clicker here to click it. Um, <coughs> but like, if they're if they're depending on how different they are, like it's definitely not gonna take a minute for nude. Um, if <coughs> Unless I'm saying that they're definitely, they're definitely just already on my phone and I'm like sending them out, because that's doable. I also just don't think I've ever taken nudes for a new person unless like they were paying me. Um, <coughs> typically, I just like 
go from my gallery of like millions of nudes at this point. <laughs> There's at least thousands. <coughs> I don't know about millions, but there's at least thousands. <coughs> Bear straps, nude, pictures of me in my gear, pictures of me in various states of dress. Like, there is uh, a wealth to choose from. But, continue. <laughs> again, continuing on, uh, Jensen says, Sir, I'm coming to you now. I nodded and set my phone away from me, rubbing the head of my cock and three fingers in my cunt. <laughs> I, I, I used to like that word for my bits. Not so much now. Uh, don't know where it got ruined for me around the way. Like, maybe <clears throat> some of the stuff that I, my exes said or something. I don't know. I turned on my phone's camera and in a breathy and husky voice, I well, I, to I told my, there's a lot of, like, I, I do the suggesting mode, so there's a lot of stri strike throughs, and I'm, I'm, I'm noticing I'm reading the strike throughs, so, uh, bear with me. <laughs> In a breath, breathy, husky voice, I told my boy, come to me. <clears throat> Five minutes later, he's working to get in. Again, like, very downtown, like, it takes a long five to ten minutes to get from place A to place B. Uh, I just, I wonder if he was in, like, my neighborhood. It's just, I don't know. <coughs> what city do I think this is? <coughs> I write some of my, I definitely write some of my, uh, stories from the lens of living in Canada. <coughs> Probably either Toronto or Montreal. Just guessing from how I write them. But, uh, yeah. <coughs> As they're throwing on trousers and lacing up my boots, they open the door. Come sit, I tell him. And he drops to his knees, panting like a dog. I grin, nodding my head. Wait, I grin? What she got? Periods here. <coughs> I grin, nodding my head. I shook his fuzzy cheek. Good boy, I whisper to him. And then I usher him inside to the sitting area. Wait, what? Wait, was the way with the outside? Okay. Also, why couldn't I just say living room? Did I mean living room? Sitting area? <laughs> My drawing room. Ah, oh, yes. I brought them to the tea room. Oh, yes. I brought them to... To the... I don't know. Uh, whatever, like, vict... Like, type, type of, like, Victorian rich people rooms. <laughs> uh... He, he sits in the, in, in the adjacent chair. His shopping bag next to him. And though he looks like he wants to throw himself at my feet. Say for it, I asked. Well, at least I asked him that. He nods. Dwarf, he answers. I, I looked at the bag, gesturing him to grab grab it and come to me. I look at the bag, gesturing him to grab it and come to me. He hands me the bag and sits on my lap, raising my junk. <laughs> like, uh... Did I think I was not going to be chubby? Like, did I think I was not going to be, like, kind of muscular, kind of chubby? Like, it's like a good little mix. Because with, with these legs and everything else that's going on down there, like, nothing really touches my dick unless, like, I, I'm, I'm like rock hard, I'm pumped. Like, <clears throat> or why it's deliciously contained uh, away from the world. <laughs> Uh, but I, I guess I thought I was going to be thinner. Uh, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> or I thought my dick was going to be, like, super huge. I roar. I don't know. I didn't draw myself much. Eh, like my body, I guess, at this point in time. Except for me and some sketches. Maybe I can find some sketches of me drawing myself. We could do this. We could do this again with either more erotica or, like, drawing or something. I don't know. 
I, I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> Down, I growl at him. He stands and throws himself back. He throws himself back down, clutching my boots. I run my hand through his auburn hair. Now lay yourself out so I can see everything. He did what he was told. Laying on his back, I raked my eyes over him. I raked. <laughs> he was trembling with pure anticipation. His ocean blue eyes watching mine. <laughs> As my gaze rests on his cock, I lick my lips and he groans. I, this reads like a romance novel. Or like... <clears throat> or like uh, a fan fiction, which is probably like what I was reading the most of at this time. So, that's that on that. <laughs> with my booted foot. My booted foot? What's so with my boot? The, did I mean with my boot? My booted foot? My booted foot. The boot foot. <laughs> I think I meant with my boot. I applied pressure to his cock, straightening in his jeans while watching his eyes for discomfort. <clears throat> well, it's good to know that I always liked CBT, but like, did we like at any point negotiate this? Like, how do I know he likes CBT? And I get in my rewrite, I make it pretty clear this dude likes CBT. I have like, all of his clothes and like teal and <coughs> I don't remember if I wrote this in or I just thought this I think he was flagging teal when we first meet him and <coughs> but like <coughs> at this point in time I'm just like stepping on his dick I don't even know if he likes it or not Like, I don't know. I, 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 I trust that I probably just didn't know about negotiation, but like, come on. Come on. <clears throat> I knew about consent. <laughs> it's like, hey, can I step on your dick? Or like, hey. Or I want it to sound like super sexy or whatever the fuck. Be like, <clears throat> your dick looks really hot. Like, I would love to see it under my boots. Can I do that to you, boy? Like, anything. I understand that I have not had sex, but, or like, much less than a lot of cake at this point in time, but come on. <clears throat> okay, so. I added more pressure, and well, he just moaned, pleading for more. You're a good slut, yeah? I asked him. He nods and continues pleading. As I take my boot off of him, I said boot there. I didn't say booted foot there. <laughs> he, he whimpers. But sir, I need more. I ignore him. I don't know if I would have written it like that today. Like, <clears throat> there are certain times definitely where I'm like, Where a bottom will tell me like, yo, hit me again, hit me again. And I'll be like, we are switching implements, calm down, Rebecca, fuck. <laughs> but not actually say that, you know? Like, I just like, maybe like say something like teasily or like playfully and then like kind of walk back over and be like, mm -hmm. I'm dying. <laughs> And I brand it on my sickness, but uh, yeah, like, I don't know, I don't know if I would have written, I ignore him. So it's not kind of what I mean, despite it is kind of what I'm doing. The connotation is just not right, but the denotation is correct, I think is the, the problem there. Um, <clears throat> strip, I tell him. He starts with his hoodie. Wait. Is he for real also wearing a hoodie in this one too? Wait. Wait, what? Okay, I got confused for a second. Um, I'm wearing a hoodie in the other one as well. <laughs> Knowing just how I like it. He's wearing red flannel under it. My favorite. Yes, I'm a red flannel fetishist. Not necessarily a 
whatever gear finishes. Outside of boots, I guess? I don't know. He unbuttons three buttons, assumedly, before ripping the shirt open to let me see his fur. I nod and gesture him. Wait. I nod and gesture him to get back up, running my hand through his chest hair. I give him a kiss meant to be quick at first, but then extended by our want. Oof. Very fanfiction line. I must have read this somewhere. And I was like, I like that. Alrighty, nothing wrong with that. Let's keep going. I pulled him in between my thighs and, mm -hmm. and he started unzipping my jeans. He worked the denim down my long legs and off me, letting my cock spring free. He gave my cock a few flicks, I guess from his hand, if you had the dental dams. Uh, and then he touched around my hole. I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say hole. Um, and I pulled him back by his hair. Did I say you could do that? I questioned him. No, Brenda, we didn't negotiate anything. <laughs> God. It's all bad. He shook his head. No, sir. Maybe you need a punishment, boy. I patted my lap and he stroked himself at the idea I had in mind. How does he know what I'm thinking? I mean, I suppose we could go off the idea that we possibly played in some sort of context that was enough that, or maybe he, we talked about um, that I like doing punishments more than necessarily punishments. But like, I don't, I don't know. There's just, I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> Hard to tell. Too many plot holes. Um, <clears throat> yes, sir, he moaned out. I tore his hand away from his cock. Bad boy, can't have you coming in your pants. He nodded and hopped up on my lap, sliding on his pants so his bare ass, his bare ass, was showing. I, I took a cheek in my left hand, squeezing forcibly, forcing a long, or forcibly drawing a long moan out of him. When I struck him the first time, he nearly screamed. Uh, okay, you're, I, I had to know warm-up was a thing, right? Like, I mean, I guess this guy could be like a massive pain pig. Would massive pain pigs still need warm-up? Like, it's not just about hitting someone as hard as you possibly can. It's about, like, hitting them at the level that they want. Uh, some folks want to be at, like, uh, a 1. Other folks want to be at a 10. But, like... Regardless, uh, I, I just, this one, one slap, and he's like, ah! like, I just, I don't know, I just, this, probably wanna, probably, probably should have negotiated any of this. Uh, anywho, his heartbeat was rapid. I could feel it pulsating on my thigh. I, I grinned slowly. Slowly transitioning into Dom space as Jensen entered subspace for one hit, sis? Like, come on! I I needed the red well. Okay, how hard did I hit this man? I hit him once, red welt. With my hand? Like, I didn't whip him. <laughs> Anywho, on his buttock, earning me muse and soft pleads spoken into my skin. I struck him again at Harder, he screamed this time. I tugged his hair, kissing him, all teeth, very raw. <laughs> After a few more harsh spankings, I thought my boy was taught a lesson. I think you've earned your reward. He looked at, up at me, his eyes wanting more punishment. Such a glutton. Okay, I guess he is a pain pig, but still. Um, he resumed... Wait, he resumed his position from before. I... Reached inside the bag, pulling out a dental dam pack. I opened one, placing it over me. He placed his tongue gingerly on the shaft of my cock. Come on, boy, I encouraged as I bit my lip. Like, he just touched your, your cock with his... Will you just wait. He just touched my cock, my cock with, your, with his tongue. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bite my lip. I'm like, oh man, one whole tongue touch. Gonna come. <laughs> He retracted his tongue and sucked down my cock in one motion. He slowly bobbed up 
and wait up and down, squeezing his lips around the base of my cock, trailing up and back down, bringing foreskin on a journey, his tongue resting on the head, moving slightly back and forth. However, my little slut couldn't hold, wait, couldn't hold this slow pace for long and started bobbing up and down with urgent need <laughs> as he rubbed his still clove cock on my boots, which, I mean, I guess if his body was at an angle would be possible, but I mean, I guess this doesn't necessarily have to make much sense anymore. Um, I slowly pulled him off my dick. Now, boy, is your ass begging me fuck tonight? I asked. He swallows. Only if you think I'm worthy, sir. A good answer, but not good enough. <laughs> okay, like, hold up. So, does that mean that he cleaned out for whatever reason, uh, went to the store, uh, I was like, boop, 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 let's fuck. <laughs> and then he showed up, like, just raring to go. Did he have, like, an animal, animal bulb in, like, his back pocket? Did he, did he, uh, just know that I had a shower shot? Uh, or did I just not know about cleaning out? You know what? That's probably the most likely one. Uh,. <laughs> No one mentions cleaning out in fan fiction. I don't know why. Um. Another time then. He whined slightly and I let him continue his work. I was close now. I looked down to him and his pants were open and his jock was soaked with pre -cum. I started to buck into his hot mouth. I have a load for you, boy. I bucked faster, biting my lip. Get ready. I spray his face. Ooh, I thought. I thought I was going to be able to do that. I cannot. I really wish I was able to. Maybe I can. If I figure it out one day, I'll let you know. <laughs> Making him shoot in his jock. He falls back, hitting the ground with a thud. That was intense. I raised an eyebrow. And he hastily collected himself. Thank you, sir. I rubbed his beard, which, I mean, I guess I got up because he fell back. So, like, he's, like, over here. Unless I'm, like, just doing that. I'm sure. Um, uh, I... <clears throat> yeah, it was. And no, thank you. I fished out the cookies from the bag. Want some milk to go with it? He nodded. And I walked into the kitchen, smile on my face. Oh yeah, and you may want to clean yourself up, Jay. Okay, so, I mean, I guess the cookies could be the aftercare of choice here, but, like, this really just should have been negotiated better. Uh, in summary, the whole thing kind of just reads like a not really initiated into kink or sex or inviting adult men over to my house, which all are fair. Uh, I had never done any of those things at the point in time that I, re I wrote this. Uh, so I guess my main story changes, uh, as, as I proposed before, um, the rewrite would be, uh, proper negotiation, which I did do, uh, longer kink scene, again, did, and a scenario upgrade. I just really don't think this is, a uh, very realistic scenario. Sometimes, certainly sometimes you can just be like, hey, come on over, and they'll not have anything to do, and then you just come on over, but most of the time, like, I would say probably about, uh, unless, unless he's at, like, camp or, like, something like that, it usually just doesn't work out that way for me. I usually have to be, like, plan way in advance, because if someone, especially if someone else is initiating in it, and not me, certainly, like, the me character, the Max character, initiated this, um, in, in this story, but, <clears throat> so maybe it wouldn't have been as much of a problem, but, like, if someone else is initiating it for me, uh, in real life, I just am usually like, yeah, I, <laughs> I, 
90 percent of the time i'm not i'm gonna be like yeah no <laughs> i just i i have other things to do i have other plans especially if it's a weekend um and if it's a weekday i'm gonna be like i probably also have i still have other plans like going to the gym and then coming home eating dinner and then watching tv with my <laughs> with, with jasper but uh Without further ado, let's kind of move to the rewrite portion of this. Last weekend, I got back in touch with a friend that I had met, and subsequently played with, a lot, at True Brew earlier this year named Jensen. We were at the local Eagle Eagle blah, 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 blah. We were at the local Eagles Lever Night. He spotted me from across the bar, and came over to chat. He was wearing a teal bar vest that accentuated his pecs and belly perfectly. His short brown beard smelled so strongly of leather I could smell it despite our height difference. The leather shorts hugged his short, thick legs, and the leather, leather garrison cap hit his mohawk. After some small talk, complimenting each other's levers, it turned out that I, I moved to the same city he lived in. After a couple of drinks and a make-out session, we were both feeling a little too drunk to play that night, but we set aside some time to play in the week, this weekend. I opened up Recon and typed a, a message to him. I gave us different screen names this time. Of course, I'm Puppo Max, and he is Loverboy J. Hey Jensen, are we still on for tonight? Yeah, I'm at the store right now grabbing some stuff for tonight. Do you want me to grab anything? I'll just grab anything you need for aftercare, some chocolate chip cookies for, for me, please. Oh, I typically just like... I typically just like sweets after aftercare, so I'll get a big patch of cookies. Or a big package of cookies, excuse me. Sounds good. It's like what, what I like to do as well. Awesome. Be there in 10. I placed my phone down on the bedside table and hopped out of bed to gear up. By the time I heard a knock at the, at the door, my implements were out and I was in my black and blue leather formals. My cap, shirt, pants, boots, belt gloves, and Sam Brown belt. <clears throat> I opened the door and invited him into the living room. He was still in his street clothes, but hopefully not for long. Eyebrow wiggle. Uh, <laughs> that is not... That right there. Uh, do you want to get dressed first, or... I started. I am dressed. My levers are under this. He, un he unzipped his hoodie slightly so his harness would poke out. I stepped towards him. Now, before I tear your hoodie off you, what did you want to get into tonight? <clears throat> he smiled, wagging slightly. Definitely some impact play, definitely some impact play, and CBT. I prefer thuddy impact and tend to lean towards floggers as well I really only want my back to be hit. I nodded. Sounds good. What about boots? I gestured towards my motorcycle boots. I'm a big fan. He implied enthusiastically. I, I would love if you stepped over my cock. He trailed off. How do you want me to address you? I'm feeling pretty daddy today. How should I address you? I asked in turn. <clears throat> Pup, boy, or slut? Excellent. I caressed his head, running my fingers through his hair. I love your hair. Can I pull on it? Yes, Daddy. Oh, yes, Daddy. <laughs> I, I, no. <laughs> Cancel. <laughs> Perfect. Any hard limits for today? No permanent marks, and no bruises, and easy visible areas. Also, I'm not really feeling butt stuff on my end. I nodded, noting all of that. Are you alright with using the stoplight system? He nodded and I grinned. Well, then let's get started, pup. He smiled and zipped his hoodie down to reveal the very same bar vest from last week and a harness that made his chest even more prominent. I growled, feeling like hot hearted. I thought to myself, damn, this boy really knows how to turn me on. He stripped off his sweatpants to show not the booty shorts from before, no. And said he was wearing a leopard jock. I was the same beautiful teal as his vest. 
Without a doubt, he knew how turned on I was. He flashed a coy grin. I guess I picked the right outfit, huh, Daddy? He ran his hands through the fur on his chest and then trailed down to tweak his own nipples. I stepped towards him until our chest touched. I grabbed his beautiful auburn hair. Damn right, boy. I pulled him in for a kiss, and then another, and then another. I could feel him melt into me as we make out. I pull him back by his hair, and he whimpers. I grabbed his balls through his jock and held them firmly. Now be a good boy and prop yourself against the wall. I watched him assume the familiar position. His hands against the wall, head down, body at an angle towards me. I walked over and groped his hairy ass. <laughs> then I worked his way up to his muscled back and shoulders. As I massaged him, I asked, Which vlogger do you want first? I knew he was familiar with my collection. I showed him at TBRU and sent him pictures since. <clears throat> he hummed and thought, The medium size. A momentary pause. And then the big one. Ambitious, I thought. I begin to knead harder into him. His moans sound so beautiful as I do this. He urges me to go harder, and I can't help but give him what he wants. After several, after several minutes, I eventually pause. He protests, but as soon as he sees me walking towards the vloggers, he perks up. He watches me walk back towards him. Head towards the wall, I command him. I pace back and forth, building anticipation, until my first strike licked his back. They were gentle. Overly so. Harder, Daddy, come on! He pouts, trying to challenge me into accelerating the scene. Such a bratty puppy. If there was a way I could go slower, I would. <laughs> I laughed, slowly speeding up. However, you and I both know Daddy is not a patient man. His strikes became faster. Oh, wait, no. My strikes <laughs> became faster and faster. His moans, once low, started to fill the room. They are all around me. His moans were inside of me, driving me. What's your color, boy? I asked, stopping momentarily and grinding my hips into his butt. He growled. Green, Dad. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. <laughs> Panting like a good little dog. I pulled him towards me by his hair and planted a kiss on his neck. Then I whispered into his ear. I, I think you're ready for the big boy. I could feel him wag against my crotch. After planting another kiss, I released them and grabbed the big boy, Tia. When I'm in, when, when I'm in range to strike, his want is clear to me. He has been anticipating this long since. He crept. Uh, he has been. In, uh, he has been anticipating this long since he crossed the threshold into my home. Dragging the thick lever tails down his back, I asked. So, you're going to take ten more hits from me, and then you're going to present me with your dick. Is that clear, pup? Yes, daddy. He groaned, his whole body heaving, yearning. I, I reached out to stroke its back, and he arched into my touch. I couldn't help but say, good boy. Or drawing the tails from his back, I wound up for my first strike. When the brunt of the strike landed upon him, it seemed like time slowed. It looked like I had knocked the air out of him and his body reacted as such. That can be the power of this vlogger, but it's a double-edged sword. What's your color, boy? I inquired. He took a moment to recompose himself. Yellow, I, I think I may only be able to do four more hits. Nodding, I say, okay, I'm going to need you to count them for me, boy. He nods in return. I strike him again, not as heavy as before. His body still recoils, but body language has... Sh but body, his body language has shifted back towards desire. Two, he gasps. I give him a moment, and then I give him another. Three, yes, daddy. He was starting to come apart. His, he was growling, panting, and it was so hot to see him take all this pain. I told him, I told him as much as I wound up for another hit. Four, another. Five, he was solidly in subspace at this point in time. And without thinking, he turned around and plopped his... I, no, popped. Not plopped. Popped. <laughs> his cock out of his jock. Please, Daddy, he whined. I grabbed the shaft. Anything for you, puppy. 
his cock pulsed in my hands, and I gave it a couple of quick smacks, forcing out a guttural moan. On the ground, Pop, he got on all fours, and I flipped him over, forcing out another loud gasp. I ran the sole of my boot up and down the length of his cock. Wow, your cock is already leaking, and I barely touched you. Such a good little slut. His cock was twitching. He loved to be called out like the slut he is. Grinning, I applied more pressure to his shaft. Fuck! He ran his hands through his hair. He began to chant, please, over and over. Please what? Please, Daddy, harder. Music to my ears. I stepped harder, moving the sole of my boot all over his cock, up, down, focusing the tip, and then down the knee into his balls. No one word can describe the noises he made. He makes during this. To the un uninitiated, they may sound like screams. However, even the more knowledgeable wouldn't describe them as moans. They are simply beautiful, but also exhilarating. Before I know it, <clears throat> I'm coming, he yells. But it's a little hard to tell what he's saying. Although, his dick clears up any confusion. He comes all over himself. He paints the fur on his belly and chest, his beard, his face. I would draw my boot, but he's still hard. He sits up and grabs my leather pants. Can I suck your dick, Daddy? Trussling, trust, trussing, trust. Wait. I actually don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I wrote like I said. I wrote this in a week. All right. Uh, tussling. My God. Never mind. I just can't read right now in this moment. His hair, I replied, well, you've been such a good boy. I started to undo my belt. I don't see why not. Sitting back into my favorite large chair, I unbuckled my pants. Thankfully, Jay wasn't wearing any underwear. I don't think he could have waited for me to take them off. Or even pulled them to the side. He, qu he quickly gobbled up my cock, sucking on it greedily, slurping, moaning. Oh god, the sounds this boy makes, I thought. His sounds kept my arousal on edge the whole time, and with this, wait, and with this much, wait, and with this much direct stimulation, it was only a matter of time before, fuck, fuck, I started bucking into his mouth faster and faster until I finally vocalized, fuck, I'm coming, I locked his head on my dick using my massive thighs. My dick flex, flexing con uncontrollably in his mouth. With, with how he was moaning, you would have thought he was coming again himself. Maybe he would have. Maybe he would have, if he could have. After a moment, he tapped out, needing to take a breath. He, he cleaned himself up and gave me a big hug, and I hugged them back. Gesturing for him to move, I grabbed the cookies and led him to my bedroom. We stripped off our levers in silence, and then hugged again, and starting to giggle. We fell into bed in a warm embrace, and talking about the scene and decompressing. So, I mean, there's definitely some room for improvement within that as well. Uh, like I said, this is very much a first draft, and it's kind of, it reads really rough to me, and I was definitely trying to suppress uh, the want to add my own comments in here, but... Uh, this was really fun. I I would love to do something like this again. Really, guys, tell me about your interest in that. I could even write new erotica for this. I I haven't written in like a minute, other than like scripts and stuff. Uh, so this was this was really fun to do. Yeah, I I would definitely do this again.